Hey guys, welcome back to How to Build a Blog with Laravel. Um, I'm really excited to be starting this series. I'm already getting great feedback from you guys. You guys are shouting out to me on Twitter. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm seeing the subscribes go up just from the first video. So um, that shows me that um, you guys really, really want to see more of this. So I am happy to oblige. And this is part two of How to Build a Blog. Now, in the first video, we talked about the structure of Laravel. And the reason that's important is because um, when, as we start moving forward, you really need to know your way around Laravel. You need to understand, um, you know, how it works and where things are located and all of that kind of stuff. It's really, really important. And so, um, I want to kind of show you how it's all structured so that later on in the next few videos, when I say, oh, go to your, um, user's view, your, your new user view, you know exactly how to get there. If I say go to the user's model, you know exactly how to get there. If I tell you to pull them both up, you can easily do that. You need to be confident in the structure of the program so that you can easily follow through with not only the teaching that I'm doing, but also speeding up um, your work as a developer. So even though it might not have been the most fun, it is very, very important. And I really had to kind of do it first before we dive in. The second video is this one right here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about model view controller. Now, what I'm actually want to do is a lot of people that are watching this video, you might have already worked with model view controller. Let's say you're coming from Code Igniter and now you're switching over to Laravel or maybe Ruby on Rails or iOS. All of these frameworks use um, a paradigm called model view controller. And it's the idea of separating out our um, our controllers, our models, and our views, what talks to the database, what actually performs logic, and what actually displays information to users, all of those have their own separate purposes. And we like to separate the code to keep it clean and concise. And the more we work with it, the more and more you're gonna love to appreciate um, model view controller. At the beginning, it might seem like an unnecessary kind of hindrance to your work and slowing you down, but at, the more you work with it, the more you really, really appreciate it. The reason it's important to understand model view controller is because Laravel is built around it. So everything we do is based on a model view and controller aspect, okay? So we're either gonna be working in the views, the models, or the controllers. Very rarely will we do something outside of that. Um, and in fact, this, I'm trying to think real quick, I don't think in this blog we're gonna do ever go outside of either a model view or controller. We'll always be working one of those or maybe a configuration file, and that's about it. Um, and then out in the, some of the other videos, you might do what we call a helper method or a helper file um, where you actually have a class that is separated, but you still perform all your logic in either the model, the viewer, or the controller. It's very central to everything that Laravel is. So you have to understand model view controller. So if you're looking at me and you're saying, Alex, I already know model view controller. I've been doing this with Code Igniter or iOS or something like that. Um, I'm ready to just start coding Great, that's what part three is all about. So you can go ahead, click this top video up here and just skip ahead to part three. I've got that coming out um, very, very soon if you're watching this before it gets up. But I'm gonna put this part two and three up within a few hours of each other. So go ahead, skip over to part three and we're actually gonna get coding. If you don't understand Model View Controller, if you have no idea what MVC stands for or what it means or anything like that, then please brush up on those skills. I've created a special video that is kind of a, it talks about MVC and kind of a lecture aspect in a very theoretical, in a very theory based aspect. And you can watch that with the bottom video over here. So please go to that video first and then you'll understand model view controller and you can proceed to part three of the Laravel series where we start coding. So it's just important, don't skip ahead if you don't know what I'm talking about. Please watch the model view controller video. It's called what the hell is MVC? And that's because a lot of times people literally ask that when I say MVC, it's like, what is that? What the hell is that? So um, I've got a video specifically for that. And that basically doesn't focus on Laravel. It focuses on what MVC is in general. The reason I have that not just kind of thrown into this video is because I wanna keep that video separate because I've also got Ruby on Rails tutorials coming and um, some other stuff. and all of them can share that same video. And so I wanna keep that video kind of separate because it's a general overview of model view controller and it works for all the frameworks that use model view controller. So that's why it's separate if you were wondering. Um, 
Last thing is I do know that there's like a little bit of a dark shadow on the one side of my face. Um, that's just the lighting in my office. And so I want you to know that I am planning on improving that. Um, I've just got to get down to Home Depot and today or tomorrow. I'm just so swamped today. So probably tomorrow um, and, uh, and get that up. So hopefully I've got that up soon. And um, also I've got an improved microphone here. I actually had that last time, but I forgot to plug it in. So it was actually recording off the, the computer microphone. Um, even though I had the, the nice microphone out, I forgot to plug it into the USB. So um, I was actually recording off the computer microphone. So got improved audio. I know that's what everyone's concerned about is audio and video quality. Um, audio quality should be incredible. And then video quality will be um, improving very shortly. So I'm already very aware of it. Um, all right, well, what I'm gonna do is I will see you guys in either what the hell is MVC or in part three. And um, go ahead, just click the video that's appropriate for you and I'll see you in the next one.